Can you get carbon dioxide out of the air? No. You don't know how. You know we better had to in order to save our climate, our existence. Because we've been pumping safely stored carbon into the atmosphere for more than 100 years, and now things are getting too hot. But are you still waiting? Still hoping that the others will finally choose to drive electric? That they will brush their teeth with bamboo and avoid rubbish to the max? Or that Jeff and Bill enter the stage with an enormous amount of money and a brilliant idea? Or that the Earth will cool down without us having to do anything? That's about as likely as your kitchen starting to clean itself. Sorry. This time, it's on us. Whether we stop waiting and start working with what we have already. Grandpa was right when he said, you can do anything if you've got the right tool. Yes, there is a tool. It's black and it has been overlooked for years. Biochar. That's right, charcoal made from plants. Because plants fetch carbon dioxide out of the air while they grow. We only have to make sure they don't return it. So we shouldn't let them burn or rot, we should carbonize them. This process is called pyrolysis, and it reduces heat, oils, and biochar. The scope of what we can do with it is almost too good to be true. Improve soils, upgrade building materials, filter wastewater, feed it to animals, and, and, and... What's more, no one needs to wait for Elon to finally find the perfect solution, involving a lot of money and technology yet to be invented. No, it's all here. It works. It's inexpensive, scalable, decentralized, and turns atmospheric CO2 into carbon that won't get out there again anytime soon. Incredibly simple and versatile, so you don't have to wait any longer. You can get carbon dioxide out of the air with biochar. Sorry, Elon.